because we've been talking about baby dolls, but over 5 million babies worldwide were born using this particular treatment, but a new study claims their health could be at risk. Have a look. For 35 years, in vitro fertilization, also known as IVF, has been a medical baby miracle. But could it deliver health issues later in life? A University of California at San Diego evolutionary biologist thinks so, claiming this form of assisted reproduction could prove to be a health disaster similar to junk food. Dr. Pascal Gagno thinks aging mice conceived by IVF developed severe health problems, including diabetes and high blood pressure in females, while males experienced hormonal problems. In addition, Gagno claims IVF children had weaker hearts than those naturally born. But should we really be rattled by this study? So first of all, we have to remember that a lot of studies that we use as the foundation of our knowledge in medicine are initially done on rodents, but for the lack of stating the obvious, a mouse is not a human. So, you know, we have to really take that with a grain of salt. The other thing we have to remember, and this is really, really important for any couple who may be facing a fertility issue and considering IVF, is that there have been some studies that show all kinds of things when you look at not just the mother, 10, 20 years down the road, but the offspring. And really the experts in this field are saying, hold on, put the brakes on. We have to remember that couples who are struggling with fertility obviously tend to have their own set of specific health issues at baseline that has then led them in many cases to having fertility issues. But we have to take everything with a huge grain of salt. And if that is your only chance for having a baby, most couples, and we have to include the men in here, will take those chances because, again, the pros and cons are... And we, and we have IVF babies and couples that have been out there now, I mean, how sure. long? Oh, decades. Yeah, yeah over, absolutely. over 20, 30 years. And, you know, like you said, there's so many other issues that may be playing a role, just normal aging. Right. And maybe these people are not going to age as well for whatever reasons they weren't able to conceive. Right, well. and, and I want to give us a concrete example here. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, can make it harder for women to ovulate regularly, so it can cause some fertility issues. We also know that women with PCOS are at elevated risk for cardiovascular disease and metabolic syndrome. So if you connect those dots, you can readily see how, yes, if you have PCOS, you might be going down the IVF road, but you also might later be going down the heart disease road, and they might not be related to each other. But given that so many women, particularly middle-aged women, are using IVF as a way to start their families, is there anything that women of a certain age, and, and then even ethnicity. Are there any increased risk factors for women in those categories? So very important to understand that a lot of studies that we look at in medicine, we need better ethnic diversity in those studies, and in some cases, better gender diversity. A lot of studies are just done in men, and hello, we need them more done in women. So we need to look at that more closely. The other thing is to remember, we say it all the time here, control what you can control. If you are struggling with fertility and you choose to go down the IVF road, that's really not in your control most of the time. But guess what? It is in your control to watch your weight, eat a healthy diet, and, and reduce your cardiovascular risk factors. Women and men who go down this path should feel comfortable mm -hmm. that, you know, nothing is zero risk, but I right. think that it has a good track record. Well, such a great point. More yes. comfortable.